Lebanon, legends of centuries spring from the very stones. Whilst here, the Lebanese version of Dolce Vita is in full swing. And exactly how Dolce can Vita be? Well, just you watch. We're going from where our neighborhood is in Hamra, and we're going to Burj Al Baraja camp to see our buddies, who we left some cameras with. We can see everything in the camp. Everything is here. Uh, actually, it's dangerous for us to be here. Why? The power. The power and the electricity. Really? In the winter, every day, we have electric ex explosion. Really? Yeah. When we returned to Beirut, we found that Ahmed had not only been using the camera, but had actually shot a short film. It's about a one-armed pool player who grows up in the camps. The last time we saw you was last year, just after the war, and uh, we gave you a camera. So tell us, what, what, what happened? We have to do something different. Mm -hmm. So we have to go to the humanitarian uh, problems. Mm -hmm. We start focusing on the handicap. The first idea was to make a documentary about my friend. His name is Ahmed. He's a good billiard player with one arm. And it's not easy for one guy to play billiard by one hand. They say we... Like any person, when I saw him for the first time, that he played billiard. أنا بد أنا أظن حد حاله أحمد شاب خلوق جدا لاعب ممتاز يملك كل الإمكانيات بيد وحدة بيد وحدة يفوق كثير كثير جدا من اللاعبين اللي عم يلعبوا بالإيد. How did he lose his hand? He lose his hand in the war like in 1987. He was three years. Three years old. Years old. And uh, yeah, his and he, he lost it in the war. Yeah, he lost in the war. Uh, his father died, uh, so he gonna live with his uh, mother. Mm. أحمد <تصفيق> I like to help the people. Sure. If I have the, the power, I like to help them. Mm. We can do a, a project, we can do films about the camp here. Mm -hmm. A big story. Are there a lot of Palestinian filmmakers that came out of the camps? Yeah, yeah, but they don't have that chance. Because, you know, the situation in this country, it's very hard to work and to have a camera and because it's very expensive. Ahmed also found another use for the camera. Because it's nearly impossible for him to get a job, he used the camera to shoot weddings and engagement parties, birthday parties, and get paid. But it also turned out to be training because his next project is a love story set in camp. My dream is to do the love story in the camp. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So just to reiterate, you're living in one of the most hopeless, depressing, fucked up places on Earth. And the film you're dying to make is a love story.